Hello everyone. Well, I'm in the process of moving back into my office, as I talked about in my last video, and I have to sort through all of my CDs collection and see which ones I want to keep and which ones I want to give away. So I was about ready to do that and I figured um, I got good responses from my last video talking about my CDs and my music collection. So I figured that I would make a video of this. So I'm just going to go through very quickly. I have a lot of them to go through. Fair warning, there is some um, definitely 80s music in here and 90s music, which will probably date me, but um, that's okay. We'll just power through that, all right? So first of all, we have this Hydro CD. It is a CD of contemporary Christian music, techno music, which isn't bad, but I don't know that I listen to it that much anymore. So I'm going to put that in the giveaway pile. Amadeus, um, Mozart's music, absolutely incredible. That's in the keep pile. This is a CD of Disney songs reinterpreted by various artists. Um, it's pretty nice, but I don't really listen to it that much anymore, so I think I'll put that in the giveaway pile. PDQ Bach, we have um, the Jekyll and Hyde tour, and then we also have Oedipus Tex and other choral calamities. These are definitely in the keep pile. I love this type of music. It's a spoof on classical music, basically. The video I did of classical rap for the Rap Challenge ASMR video came from this CD. So these are definitely keep. Andrew Lloyd's, Andrew Lloyd's Requiem, another um, phenomenal piece of music, definitely in the keep pile, as well as Leonard Bernstein's uh, Beethoven Symphony Number no. One and Two, and Beethoven Symphony Number no. Four and Five. I have some more of these somewhere in the stack. And this is another Leonard Bernstein uh, CD that um, a good friend of mine gave. Absolutely beautiful music. Definitely in the keep pile. Tchaikovsky Symphony Number no. Five. Another beautiful piece that I'm going to keep. Mozart's Violin Concertos. Uh, I'll probably give this away. I don't listen to it that much. They Might Be Giants. Here comes the ABCs. And it doesn't have a CD in it. So that's, if we can't find the CD, that's trash. Um, Sonic Flood. I don't remember listening to this music, so I will put it in a third pile because this may be um, my wife's CD or something like that, so I'm going to ask her about that. Swing Praise. This is contemporary Christian music in a swing style, which is pretty nice, but um, I don't listen to much swing music anymore, so that's a giveaway pile. This is Wynton Marsalis, um, very nice blues, but blues isn't really my style, unfortunately. I bought this to see what I thought of blues, and while I enjoyed it, um, I never found myself really going back and listening to it. Great Melodies of the Classics, um, this is a set of three or four CDs that I got of classical music. Unfortunately, they're pretty terribly done. Um, so even though it has a lot of the more familiar classical songs on it that most people are familiar with, they're not very well done. So these are on the giveaway pile. Let's see, Mendelssohn, Calm Seas and Prosperous Voyage Overture, very beautiful music. Orphra Harmony, Harney, Amazing cello player, 
Vivaldi cello concerto is very beautiful. Um, this is probably my wife's CD. Um, I don't recognize it, so I'm going to put it in this pile here. Okay, well, so far so good. Let's pull another stack up here. Here we have Canadian Brass Mozart. Probably give that away. The Beethoven Collection. Symphony Number no. 7 and 8. Um, probably keep that. Beethoven's 10th Symphony, um, unfinished. Probably give that away. And Beethoven's ninth, absolutely one of my favorite pieces of music. Definitely a keep. Um, so much that I have two versions of it. This is um, Leonard Bernstein live, and this is the London Classical Players version. Both of them are very nice. Tchaikovsky, Sleeping Beauty and Swan Lake. Put that in the giveaway pile. Stravinsky. This is okay. I kind of like it, but I don't see myself listening to it again, so I'll put that in the giveaway pile. Yo-Yo Ma. Again, very nice music, but um, I think I'm going to put that in the giveaway pile. Um, same with Tchaikovsky's Piano Concertos. Vivaldi's Four Seasons by Nigel Kennedy. Very nice rendition of that. I think I will keep that. And give away this. And here is the fourth CD of that. The pretty terrible music. So I'm going to give that away as well. And we'll move on to another stack. Now I'd Part of me would really like to keep all of these, but um, if I don't really listen to them, there's no sense in keeping them. And a few of these I've digitized and listened to them on my Mac and stuff. So um, if I've done that, I know it's good music that I listen to over and over again. If I haven't taken the time to digitize it, then I must not really care that much about it. So that's kind of one of the other things that I'm determining whether to keep it or not. Um, Beethoven Concertos, I think that's a giveaway pile. Nadia Salierno Solnberg's version of Vivaldi's Four Seasons. I love the way she plays the violin. It's very dramatic, very aggressive. Um, I love it, so I'm definitely keeping it just for that alone. Tchaikovsky's Symphony Number no. 4. I think I'll keep that. I really like Tchaikovsky, and I really like Beethoven. They're some of my favorites, so these Tchaikovsky symphonies I'm going to keep. Here's another um, Nadia Sal Saliano Sonberg. I'm going to keep that as well. The Academy by Request. Some very nice, um, well-known tunes of the classical genre. Definitely much better done than the other four CDs I have, so I think I'll keep that. Berlioz Symphony Fantastique. Not a huge fan of Berlioz. Um, Johann Sebastian Bach. Again, I love Bach, but I don't fi um, find myself listening to it that much. So those will be in the giveaway pile. Okay, switching gears, we have Madonna's Ray of Light. Definitely a keep, I love that music. Alana Miles, mm, probably a giveaway. It seems very heavy. Let's just have a large book in the back. Inya, this is one of her first CDs. I bought it when she first started to become very popular. I listen to it every so often, but um, I don't think I've listened to it enough to warrant keeping it. 
Marty Jones, one of my absolute favorite artists. I believe I had this CD in my other video. Um, anything by her is an automatic keep. Rhythm of the Saints by Paul Simon. Um, I really enjoy the way this CD is put together as far as musically. There's just some beautiful pieces in here that I really enjoy. Premier Collection of Andrew Lloyd Webber. Mm. I own most of these in um, the full length CDs anyway, so I think I'll give this away. Bernstein Songbook. Um, I really like Bernstein and I like a lot of the songs on here, so I'll keep that. Songs of the American Revolution. This is a kid CD that my wife had, so I'm going to ask her about that. Cats is a keep. Philip Glass. Philip Glass is one of my top favorite composers. Anything by him is an automatic keep. So these would be keeps. Chanticleer, How Sweet the Sound. This is um, my wife's CD. I will let her decide about that. Same with Agnes Dei and Sarah Brightman, La Lumia. La Luna. Those are all her CDs. Okay. We are powering through them here. Ray Lynch, Deep Breakfast. This is a very fun, lighthearted type of New Age music. Absolutely love it, and definitely a keep. Vangelis, Mask. Some of my favorite Vangelis music is on this CD, as well as Opera CVJ. Definitely a keep. This is some, some just generic New Age music that I will give away. Um, Tomita, Live in New York. Very interesting um, composer and a very interesting take on different types of music, but I don't find myself listening to it that much. Vangelis Direct, anything by Vangelis is a keep. Jerry Goodman, this is a guy who plays an electric violin. It's okay, but I think I'm going to give it away. Kurt Kaiser, A Wintry Night, beautiful, beautiful piano Christmas music, definitely a keep. Same with Paul Winter's Winter Song. Um, a Chant of Mid Christmas Midnight, I think that's a giveaway. Um, Handel's Messiah is also, I think, a giveaway. I've heard this so many times in my life. Um, getting kind of tired of it, actually. It's sad to say. Um, Glad is a contemporary Christian um, group, and they put out some a cappella albums back in the, I guess, late 80s, early 90s. So they did an a cappella Christmas. It's okay, but I think it's a giveaway. Pavarotti Christmas music. Um, I love Pavarotti's voice, so that's a keep. Uh, Garrison Keillor, um, a recording of Prairie Home Companion show. They're funny, but once you've listened to it five times, you pretty much know what's on it, so it's a giveaway. Uh, Weird Al Yankovic. Um, I think if I got rid of these, my kids would kill me, so that's a keep. And another Mozart. I think I'll give that away. And Americans on Parade. I don't remember where this came from, so I'm going to ask about that. Okay, so the next is Rimsky Korsakov collection. Um, it's nice, but I don't see myself listening to it again. Another Nadia Saliano Sonberg, definite automatic keep. This is Gershwin piano solos. I really like Gershwin, and I don't listen to him nearly as much as I should. Um, I used to listen to him a lot. So I think I'm going to keep this and kind of re-familiarize myself with Gershwin. Holst's The Planets. Um, very beautiful. Bernstein. Excellent. 
but um, this is a piece of classical music I'm kind of burnt out on. I listen to it quite a lot. I practically have it memorized, so that's a giveaway. Derek Floyd is an artist I heard a while back and bought some of his CDs, but I really haven't listened to them since. Um, he has an amazing voice, but um, this was much more of an impulse purchase for me. Um, contemporary Christian worship music. Um, I've listened to this um, quite a bit, and again, I pretty much have it memorized, so I think it's a, um, in a giveaway pile. Uh, Les Miserables, um, or Les Miserables, however you say it. Um, I've had this since the recording first came out. I absolutely love it. Haven't listened to it in a while. Just brought it back out again and listened to it with the the new movie coming out. And I really, really love the music. And we kind of refamiliarized myself with it, so I think I'm going to keep that. Uh, Leonard Cohen. Um, anything by Leonard Cohen is an abs um, automatic keep. These are interpretations of his songs by other bands. This is the CD that introduced me to Leonard Cohen. Um, so these are definitely a keep. Cats is a keep. So let's move these over here. Buddy Holly. I really like Buddy Holly. Um, I think I'll keep that. The Sounds of Murphy Brown, some Motown. Again, they're nice songs, but I don't I don't find myself coming back to them. Um, this is a soundtrack to a movie called The Power of One. Really nice, powerful music, but um, I think it's a giveaway. And as is the soundtrack to Return to Snowy River. So I told you there'd be some 80s music. Okay. A tribute to Yasha Heifetz, Yasha Heifetz by Itzhak Perlman. I don't listen to this a whole lot, um, nor do I listen to the American album by Itzhak Perlman very much. Itzhak Perlman's okay, but he just doesn't um, capture my imagination. Um, Canadian Brass Live, I think it's a giveaway. Um, this is a absolutely spectacular um, performance by Wynton Marsalis of Baroque Music for Trumpets. It's a definite keep. As is this um, portrait of Wynton Marsalis CD. Absolutely incredible trumpet player. And this is J.S. Box Goldberg Variations. Um, I heard an article um, on NPR about the Goldberg Variations and it really captured my imagination. So. I bought this CD, but um, for whatever reason, I think this version of it just fell flat. I just did not enjoy listening to Daniel Barenboim playing it, and that may be me, but um, this is definitely a giveaway. This is a music magazine that I subscribed to. This is the initial um, first month that came out. You basically got a magazine and a CD with it. And I haven't listened to this in a while. So I think I'm going to listen to this to determine whether I want to keep it. Stravinsky's Firebird. I think that's a giveaway. Of all these Four Seasons, I already have a version of Four Seasons. So I think that's a giveaway. That's Bluegrass. Um, this is my wife's CD or my kid's CD or something like that. They bought that. So I will ask them about that. Rich Mullins, um, this is one of my wife's favorite um, contemporary Christian artists, so, as well as Lost Dogs, so I will keep that and ask, that, ask her about that. Newsboys, um, this is the old Newsboys before they, basically another band bought their name and um, started using it. This is an amazing CD, I really love it. Um, it's one of the few contemporary Christian music CDs that I will actually come back to and listen to. So that's a keep. Okay, we are powering through here. 
Roy Orbison is a keep. Leonard Cohen is a keep. Uh, Beauty and the Beast. Um, basically poems read by the actor who played Beauty in this TV series. I mean, who played the Beast in this TV series. Um, I don't remember how I got this CD. I don't know if an old girlfriend gave it to me or what. But um, definitely in the giveaway pile. Mm, Barbra Streisand, the Broadway album. I think this is a keep. Elvis Costello and the Juliet Letters um, with the Brodsky Quartet, a definite keep. Some amazing kind of contemporary classical music. Mendelssohn and Tchaikovsky's Violin Concertos, definitely a keep. Beethoven Sixth is a keep. Stephen Green's Christmas Music, that's a giveaway. Canadian Brass Christmas Music is a giveaway. Barbara Streisand's Christmas Music is a giveaway. Mannheim Steamroller. I think this is a giveaway. I've listened to this a ton. As is this. And that. I don't see myself listening to that again. Mission Impossible. Bought this CD for the soundtrack for some reason. Never listened to it again, so that's a giveaway. Soundtrack to one of my favorite movies of all time. Definitely a keep. And this is a nice, but I think this is a giveaway as well. This is Vangelis, 1492. Spectacular piece of music. That's a keep. As is Chariots of Fire. As is The Empire of the Sun. Beautiful music to that movie. Mel Gibson's Braveheart. I don't think I've ever listened to this CD. Um, I don't know where it came from, so that's a giveaway. The soundtrack to Willow. A very interesting movie that I really enjoyed. And um, I need to listen to this again to see if the music is something I want to keep. And of course, Phantom of the Opera, which started out my last um, CD video. Definitely a keep. Okay. For some funky music, we have In Vogue. Um, listen to that for a while, way back when. Don't listen to it anymore. Boston. Absolutely love the mastery of the instruments on this um, CD. Definitely a keep. Let's go bowling. I believe that's my wife's CD, although I do enjoy it. I'll ask her about that. These are CDs from the Olympics back in when it was in Barcelona. So whatever year that was. 92. And if you collected enough Coke um, caps or whatever, you could send away and get these. I'll listen to those and see if they're any good. Worth keeping for collector's items. I don't know. Ibiza Anthems. Um, I think this is a giveaway. Best of Techno, I think that's debatable. That's a giveaway. Pet Shop Boys, one of my favorite artists of all time. Anything by them is an automatic keep, and I have a ton of it. So all of these albums are a keep. Michael Card, um, I asked my wife about that. As well as Rich Mullins. Nitro Praise, I think that's a giveaway. And I don't know what this CD is, so that's an, an ask as well. Another stack. The first part of this will go quickly because it is all Pet Shop Boys, which is all a keep. Like I said, I have a lot of it. The Wires were a band that we heard um, locally and kind of enjoyed their sound, so I think that's a keep. Steve Taylor. There's no CD in this, so that's potential trash. Um, 
I'm not quite sure what type of music this is, so that's a giveaway. I believe this is my wife's, so I will ask her about that. I think that's a giveaway, as well as this and that. Um, I think I'll ask about that one. This is a keep. I really love the vocalizations on this. Um, some excellent, excellent um, vocals. Love the sound of their voice on this album. It's kind of a bluesy, aggressive. Amy Grant. I really like Amy Grant. I think I'll keep a hold of those. More I beat some music. Uh, I think that's a giveaway. So we're checking out some techno, aren't we? Okay. Here we have some 80s music, Eurythmics, 1984. I think that's a giveaway. As is Janet Jackson's Rhythm Nation. And this is some ska music, which is okay, but that's a giveaway. Janis Joplin is definitely a keep. Katie Lang is definitely a keep. And Ute Limter is definitely a keep. Her voice is amazing. Basha. I don't know. I think Basha is a giveaway. I like her music, but I've listened to it so much that um, I'm kind of over it. These are um, Smithsonian collection of songs from Broadway going way back to like the early 1900s. So I think I'm going to keep those. Michael Jackson. I think those are the giveaway pile. Natalie Cole. I love this album a lot. Um, I'm going to keep it. They Might Be Giants is a keep. Anything by them is a keep. And this is the Mighty Mighty Boss Tones. Definitely a keep as well. Sash, it's a nice upbeat Euro techno music. I think I'll keep that. Paul McCartney's um, Driven the Life Fantastic. I think I'll keep it. Aqua, again, listen to it a lot, but um, not so much anymore. Foo Fighters, I bought this. Didn't like their music, it's a giveaway. Crash Test Dummies, used to love them. I think I listened to it too much. Now I can't stand it very much. Still like the Eurythmics, gonna keep that. And these are more of that Smithsonian Institute um, Broadway music, so I'm gonna keep that. Okay, here we have some contemporary Christian. Um, I think this is actually a speech given by Ravi Zacharias. So I'm gonna probably keep that. I'm not sure, I think this is my wife's as well as this. So that's an ask. Nitro Praise, again, not much into the Nitro techno music anymore. High Energy Praise, Kids Worship Songs. So those are giveaway. Glad Acapella, I don't listen to that much anymore. And a lot of these I don't listen to hardly ever. Some of them I don't recognize, so. Okay, let's see. Michael Card, contemporary Christian music. I love Michael Card, everything he does. Very, um, very talented musician and songwriter. So, keep pretty much anything he does. Twyla Paris, 80s, contemporary Christian music, but I love it, so I'm keeping it. Third day, I don't remember having the CD, so. More Michael Card, beautiful music. I'm going to ask about this one. Don't remember that music. And I'm going to ask about that one. These are songs to help kids learn about geography. Uh, Brian Duncan, again, 80s contemporary Christian music. But I love it. Amy Grant is a keep. These are a giveaway. Giveaway. 
giveaway. I believe this is my wife's CD, Praise House Music. We used to um, have a lot of this. We used to listen to a lot of it, but not so much anymore. Same with this. Same with this. Metro Praise. Maybe I should keep at least one of them. I think I'll keep this one. I don't know what this one is. Or that. A lot of these just got stuck in because I had the space for them. I don't know what that is. Or that. Or that. I think I'm going to ask about that one. Um, this is my wife's CD. As is this one. Stephen Curtis Chapman. More contemporary Christian music. I don't listen to it that much anymore. Um, same with this one. Um, I don't think I've ever listened to this one. My wife's CD. Hers got mixed in a lot with mine, didn't they? Um, don't know what that is. Or that. Or that. This is kind of the end. A lot of these are just stuck in my CD holders that I had in my wall. Because there wasn't really any other place for them. Um, and I think this is a keep. And this is an ask about. Okay, well. That's it. Now you've seen every one that I have. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I'll be making many more videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.